the channel. So today, little adventure, all day adventure. It is, it's actually, uh, I don't know if you can see it. The sun is out. That's a good thing here in Chicago. And it's gonna be 80 degrees and Nikki is on her way. I'm running a little late and we are going for a long, probably two hour ride. We're just gonna go to this real scenic area, go get food. Actually, we're gonna go get breakfast first at this like, I've never been there. I was driving in this little hillbilly town real far away. And I happened to notice like there's a little shack looking place and it was a breakfast place. And me and Nikki love places like that. So we're gonna go explore that little area, check that little breakfast joint out, get some food, and then probably just go for like a walk somewhere out there. Yeah, just basically just ride. It's gonna be a beautiful day. Our days are limited here in Chicago because yes, winter is coming. So I need to get ready. I'm running late and she's almost here. So yeah, let's let's go. I gotta get ready. <music> all right so a few things i did for this long ride real quick while well, i cleaned the bike second check tire pressure another thing you're going to want to do well if you got a rebel i bought this seat gel cushion feels like a little honeycomb design under here i can feel just by feel just because for long rides, that's going to help out Nikki. I also got this uh, Kemimoto little like luggage bag. You can put it anywhere. You can put it in the front forks, but I put it back here. And it kind of nice because it sits nicely back on here. There were two. So it's a little, it's a little Harley Davidson look-esque for me. So I, I could do without this little leather weave and these. That's not really my style or style for my bike, but whatever. It's uh, it, 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 we just need it for today. It's not staying on here permanently. Um, but one thing I didn't like is it's got the metal tab or that little metal, I don't know what you call it, stud. Well, I'm the stud, but okay, bad joke. All right, so it's got these little metal studs underneath too, but I took a piece of black electrical tape and just put it over it. Uh, you can't see it, so it doesn't look that tacky. And the reason why I did that is I'm just worried that this thing's going to be bouncing and it's going to ding up my rear fender. I don't want no scratches on there. So that'll work. And this thing's nice. You can hold, uh, we got a pair of, I got a pair of my shorts, some socks, and then Nikki's doing the same thing. Probably her phone, whatever else stuff, girl stuff she wants to put in there. And that, that should be enough. Um, I also have, uh, aspirin underneath the seat and I think that's it. Insurance card, all that good stuff. But yeah, it's ready to it's ready to rock and roll, uh, guys. So like, I don't think it gets talked about enough. Safety, you know. Yeah, it's common sense, and you know it, it should go without saying. But guys, you really when you're riding, especially with a passenger, I mean, it's different than being in a car. Not saying you shouldn't be you know super safe in a car, but when you're on a bike, you guys you gotta really be watching, man. Always be watching your surroundings always at stoplights be checking in these mirrors because you don't know the idiot coming up you know flying and flying behind you could be on their phone which you know nine times out of ten they are on their phone uh that shit drives me crazy just be careful guys you know remember you got a passenger so also account for extra weight things like that you know i did tense i did tighten up the suspension a little bit since i will have a rear passenger accommodate for weight and just you know always be paying attention so uh, this ride will be nice because it's out, like I said, in this hillbilly area. Barely any cars, so. I think we're uh, ready to rock and roll. I'm just waiting for Nikki, and uh, I'll take you guys along with me. Let's go. <laughs>
get the lady? I don't know yet. I'm still looking. Okay. <laughs> I might do the build your own. Scrambled eggs, that's what I, I kind of like, kind of want a scrambled egg now. You did get scrambled eggs. I mean, I wanted uh, over, over easy, easy, that's what I'm trying to say. Anyways, give you a, give you a little taste. Oh my God. I just, well, me and Nikki just stopped at the Serena Cafe. Serena, Illinois, population 150 people. And we came to this little, uh, little breakfast, little cute, little cute breakfast joint. And it was actually really good, was it not? It was delicious. It was delicious. And now we are heading out and uh, gonna ride some more and uh, come join us, shall ya? <laughs> Nicole's gonna get on her hog. I'm gonna get on the Honda. All right, let's go. store and um something doesn't look right to me mm -hmm. we all drink but do we drink like that i don't know all right we're at this bar music's playing gonna get some food drinking check this out another rebel 1100 parked right next to me hell yeah buddy Love it. Thank you. 
All right, now we're at a little dive bar. And cut. All right, now we're at a little dive bar here in Utica, Illinois. And uh, when I mean dive bar, I mean this is pretty divey. She's not paying attention to me. Anyways, we are gonna have a, a adult beverage. And then, uh, I don't know, <coughs> hit the road, I guess. Maybe get hit some food road, again. Jack. I don't know, we'll see. Maybe we'll do some riding around here. I'll try to get some, uh, some ri more riding footage. dark it's like 5 30 so it's starting to get dark now since you know summer's pretty much over and uh we stopped at some we're in norway illinois no clue never been there little old school gas station uh we're gonna use the bathroom and then uh hey hey look at this guy hey look at this guy um use the bathroom and then head home kind of a different vlog i didn't really show too much riding only because i was trying to enjoy the ride it's a lot of uh just open fields and i don't know just kind of wanted to show where we were heading uh pretty cool we saw another honda rebel parked right next to me but um yeah man do a little bit more i won't end it right here i'll end it a little bit later this vlog let's uh let's check out this little old school Gas station, 1848 it says. The Norway store. And pumpkins are 650. Isn't that a lot for a pumpkin? I don't know. All right, let's go inside. Oh yeah, look at, there's some, look at Viking Norwegian. It's funny, I've been here before, but I never went inside just to get gas. Like, really? They used to come here all the time, babe, like three times a year. What the krumki? Now we're ending the night at Lock and Mule. I thought you were taking a picture. No, this is not a picture. This is a video for the for the channel. Uh, it's been a long day. Long day on the bike. Probably an hour and a half there, hour and a half back, and now we're just unwinding. Gonna get some more food. I feel like this vlog's just like eating food, but but hey, that's okay with me. Uh, it's been a day. It's been a day. We ordered some uh, chicken schnitzel. Chicken schnitzel. My favorite. And uh, we'll let you know how it is. Uh, you got a little bit of chicken schnitzel, a little mashed potatoes, some side pickles, and then capers with the sauce. It's really good. I'm gonna go uh, eight five. Yeah, go. same. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. So, I realized we did that whole video. We were on the bike for, me and Nikki were on the Rebel for a little over 12 hours. We, I mean, not consistently, but it was a long day. A long ride there, long ride back. So I was editing the video and I was like, I didn't do a damn outro and the video is just gonna look stupid without one. So this is my outro, but hope you guys enjoyed the video. Next time I'll get some more riding, I promise. I, I wanted to vlog it, but I also wanted to enjoy the ride too. Bear with me on that, guys. There'll be more riding footage in my other videos. This one, I just kind of wanted to, uh, you know, I was just kind of taking it all in, enjoying it, enjoying the beautiful day. Hey guys, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, if you love Mini Moto content, if you love Honda Rebel content, 
If you love motorcycles in general, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. I know a lot of people watch my videos, but nobody really hits subscribe. If you could do it, I'd appreciate you. That really helps me out. Gives this video a big thumbs up. And uh, hey, guess what? I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.